right, Dean from Legion Travel Vans, we're very excited today. We're going to have a look at the 2021 Unity Twin Bed and also the Unity Island Bed. They're very similar motorhomes, and the great thing about these two motorhomes is that not only do they look fantastic, but you can take them day tripping, you can take them into the big city, you can self-isolate, you can go RV in any national federal park in Canada and the United States of America. You have great interior storage, great exterior storage. You have a dry bathroom. In the twin bed model, you have three different sleeping areas. For 2021, the Unity IB and TB have an optional air mattress and you can sleep up to four people. That's right, small family of four, grandkids wanna come along with grandma and grandpa, absolutely. So the optional air mattress is gonna give you sleeping for four and four seat belts on the IBTB for 2021. I can't wait to show you this motorhome. Come on in, let's have a look at this motorhome, it's absolutely fantastic. So welcome inside the Unity TV and the IB, exactly the same living area set up on both motorhomes. Absolutely fantastic, you have lots of room. This makes into a beautiful dining room area, can't wait to show you that. It also makes into a super single bed, and as we mentioned earlier, optional air mattress slides over here so you can have sleeping up to four. We have four seat belts as well on the IB and on the TB model. The driver passenger seats turn into the motorhome, creates a dining room area for four, entertainment area for four. We have two TVs in the IB and the TB model, one in the bedroom and our main TV here. We have a Bluetooth sound bar and we have a smart Blu-ray player that comes with both the models as well. I think you're gonna love the versatility of this front living room area. As you can see right now, I can flip this over and make it into a nice little ottoman. This is very cool little design, very smart design by our engineering department. And now I've got a nice little ottoman area. I can kick back, I can watch TV, very comfortable. I think this is just a great idea as it makes into a chaise lounge for reading a book, working on my tablet, uh, computer, just so comfortable, so versatile, and it makes into a super single bed as well. So we use our main dining room table, we put that into this spot right here. The extra cushion slides in here, and look at this, I've got a super single bed. Plus, you can order the optional air mattress. These two chairs turn and face this way. The air mattress, two-piece air mattress fills in the centerpiece, and this makes into a nice little double bed. So, sleeping for four, seat belts for four, versatility at its best, twin bed, island bed, and the Unity RL all have this feature. So from a sleeping area, now we can make it into a dining room area or a workstation. Absolutely, look at this, locks in place. Look at the size of that locking mechanism for the table, absolutely super strong, love that, look at that. And you can lock this down, it's not moving at all. And you have a nice beautiful table area or a workstation, if you have a computer laptop, you need to do some work, why not? And you can see we have the leafs that expand out so you can have dinner for up to four people, and then you have easy access for moving around the table as well. So, very versatile dining room area on the IB and the TB. People always ask what these two items are right here. This is your breaker panel right here. If you ever have uh, no power, you may have flipped one of your breakers, and this is your fuse panel for inside the motorhome. All your fuses. Up above here, look at this, storage space. Very nice, nice big area here. This is where we carry all of our warranty information. That's all in this package. Extra set of keys as well. Optional safe, but you have nice big storage area up front. Look at this beautiful curved door. European hidden hinges. On the upper cabinet doors, you have three different options. You can do the Fenix white, the Fenix gray, or you can just leave it the cherry wood stain, which is very nice as well. So three different options on your upper cabinets. I love that. Two different countertops. This is the brand new concrete, and we have Antarctica white. We also have three different leather colors, ultra leather, synthetic man-made leather, super strong, uh, easy to clean, doesn't mold, doesn't mildew, doesn't get hot or cold, nice to the touch. So you can accessorize the interior of a motorhome, two different countertops, three different leather colors, and then three wood colors. I also love the two storage pockets on both sides of our main uh, storage area here. Right here, we have our optional solar panel. So we have two different options for solar panels for our dry campers. We have 200 watts and 400 watts. All your controllers are right there. More storage here, and you can see a beautiful latch right there, pops right up. Once again, European hidden hinges, nice deep cabinet as well. 
LED lights through the entire ceiling. Let's talk about the ceiling. Almost five inches thick, vacuum bonded, one piece fiberglass flex roof up on the roof. Aluminum studs and it's vacuum pressed. It's absolutely fantastic roof. We have our skylight right here. So we have our shade. We also have our screen and lots of beautiful natural light and airflow. You can see it locks in place, pop it open. Lots of fresh air. You can leave this half and half if you want or leave just the screens on. Ducted air conditioning, as you can see here, we have ducted air conditioning, keep you nice and cool on hot days and nice and warm on cold days. So absolutely fantastic roof, head to toe. This is our entertainment area. Remember we have two TVs in this motor, one in the bedroom, one in the main living room here. And we have a switcher box so you can watch TV here, you can watch a movie in the back, you can watch a movie up front, TV in the back, you can have an optional satellite dish. We do the WineGuard T4, which does dish, direct, and bell. That all connects into here with all of our satellite connections. We also have a Blu-ray player, smart Blu-ray player, which makes your TV smart, which is absolutely fantastic if you wanna watch Netflix, things like that. And speaking of that, over here, we've got our WineGuard 2.0 Wi-Fi booster and optional 4G TV antenna. You can see the green lights here. I don't know if you can see that or not. So I can turn that on, TV boosters on, turn on the Wi-Fi booster. So any free Wi-Fi signal that happens to be around, if you happen to be at a McDonald's or a Starbucks picking up a coffee, you can borrow their, uh, their Wi-Fi. Or you can actually uh, buy 4G service. You can buy it from WineGuard, or you can get a second SIM card from your telephone supplier and you can put it inside the Wi-Fi booster on the roof and then you're your own walking hotspot as they say. So WineGuard 2.0, that's standard on all the uh, Unity IBs, TVs, all the Unity models. Over here we've got some of our other connections here. Um, we've got our in inverted plugs here for plugging in a satellite receiver, plugging in obviously the Blu-ray player, TV switcher box, satellite connections as well for if you have the optional satellite dish. So everything is right here, nice little entertainment center. Here's our interior service center. So this is our control center for the motorhome right above the entrance door. So optional uh, hydraulic four point leveling jacks, nice little option to have, automatically levels the motorhome. It's uh, auto level and auto retract. You just pull your emergency brake and then hit the button for auto level. It'll automatically level the motorhome. That's a nice little option on all Unity motorhomes. Over here, we have our Truma Aqua Go Comfort Plus Hot Water Control Center. So we have our Truma Eco. We have the uh, Comfort Plus off and clean. So that's that's the control center right here. Over here, we've got our controls for checking our tanks and our batteries. So you can see my battery's got 12.7 in it. We uh, went to two deep cycle AGM batteries as standard with a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. We also have an option for two 12 volt lithium batteries and we heat those lithium batteries and there's an on off switch we're turning that off and on because as you know lithium batteries don't like cold weather once they get past 36 degrees fahrenheit they stop taking a charge so nice little option to have if you want to do a lot of dry camping we have the optional lithium batteries for 2021 on all unity models and this is our water pump switch for turning on our water pump when we're dry camping like we are today my water tank is full i want to get some water to the sink or i want to have a shower you got to turn on your water pump right there over here, we have our optional generator control. We have two different generators. We have the uh, 3.2 kilowatt diesel generator, and we have the 3.6 kilowatt propane generator. This unit has the 3.6 kilowatt propane generator optioned out on it. And with that option, you get auto gen start, which is a great feature to have that comes on the propane generator only. And what the auto gen start will do is, uh, for example, if you have some pets in the motorhome, beautiful day like today, it's supposed to get warm. We've got the auto gen start set. It will come on, turn on the air conditioner, cool down the motorhome. It can also be set for charging up your batteries. If your batteries were getting a little bit too low, getting under 12, it would, you could set it to come on and recharge up your uh, batteries as well. And right here is our control for our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. So you can turn that off and on. For example, we have it on right now, we're dry camping, so I can watch a movie. I can uh, run a small coffee maker. So a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter is standard on all Unity models for 2021. It's our main switch for our lights. You can dim them by holding the dimmer switch at the bottom. Once again, we have LED lights throughout the entire ceiling as well. This is our exterior Storage compartment light is on, that's why it's on red. You can see I turn it off, that means the light's not on, light's on. Over here we've got our switch it for our beautiful LED lights that are built into the cabinets. Absolutely looks fantastic. Really nice ambiance at night. If you don't wanna have the main lights on, you can just have the rope lights on. This is my switch for my uh, step 
for camping mode, non-camping mode. And right here you can see we've got our switch for our outside LED lights and inside light as well. I like the leather, leather handle for coming in and out. 12 volt battery disconnect switch, I can turn that off. Fire extinguisher for safety as well. So let's have a look at the galley area. Once again, very versatile, this small motorhome, IB and TB, same galley area. You have a nice big galley area for a small motorhome. We have our two burner spark ignition stove, built in splash guard, I like that. I love the beautiful pitcher window. Awning style opens all the way up so I can have some fresh air in the motorhome even if it was raining. I love the LED lights inside the cabinets, look fantastic. Daytime shades, look at this. And you can see it's pretty windy out today, but I can still have my daytime shades down. Windows open, very nice. And then at nighttime, I can just bring this shade down, my nighttime shade, and look at that nice privacy throughout the mo entire motorhome. Brand new color for our countertop, right? It's a solid Corian. This is the brand new concrete color. It looks absolutely fantastic. We also do Antarctica white. Over here, we have a built-in garbage can. A lot of people just fill that with ice, use that as an ice cooler. Very smart, great use of space. And I love the new accessory rail for 2021. We have a nice new paper towel holder as well, place here for your spices. And nice deep stainless steel sink, chrome faucet. And if you need a little more room, look at this. Counter extension built right in, very, very smart. I mean, the Hell Kitchen boys would be very excited about a, to be cooking on a kitchen like this place here for your lights, inverted plug, got a coffee maker, small toaster. Once again, we had a 2001 inverter standard on all the Unity models, you can plug it in there. It also has a GFI switch here, so if you ever blow the power, you can reset the GFI switch right there. Up above here, we've got some nice cabinets. Once again, shelves, so you can have plates down below, and it's a nice, big, deep cabinet. That's very important that the plates are going to fit all the way in. Place here for your cups. Once again, European hidden hinges, the curved doors. This one has the optional Fenix white cabinets. Nice place here for some more storage. So you have lots of upper cabinets and down below we have lots of lower cabs. Look at this beautiful reverse curved door, hidden hinges as well. Look how much room you have back in there. Down below, easy access to our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. But look how much room you have here. This is really cool. See these little vibration dampers here for the water lines? So when you have the water lines running, they can, uh, they can vibrate and rattle. You don't have to worry about that with the vibration dampers in there. It's all the small little thing that leisure travel van do. Makes a leisure travel van a leisure travel van. Full drawer extension glides. Look at this, all the way out. Come all the way out. And new for 2021, we have soft close on all the drawers. We also have a fantastic fan above the kitchen area and we have a great option. It's uh, rain sensor fans. So you would get one here and one in the bathroom and they uh, can be set for temperature. And if it starts to rain, they'll automatically close. And I mean, they move some serious, serious airflow. I mean, it, I mean, that is pretty cool. That's if you're dry camping using 12 volt power and you don't have your air conditioner running, this is going to move a lot of warm air out of the motorhome. So rain sensor fans, great little option to have. You get one in the bathroom and one in the kitchen. Okay, as we move our way down the galley area, another little storage area here, very nice. You're gonna absolutely love this pull-out pantry. What motorhome wouldn't be complete without a beautiful pull-out pantry? Put all your canned goods in there. Brand new lock system here for locking it in place. And over to my right, we've got our convection microwave and our fridge. Nice little storage area up above here and convection microwave. So not only just your normal microwave, it's also a convection, so you can bake with it. Brand new Dometic two-door fridge. Yeah, I think you're gonna absolutely love this. In this floor plan, the IB and the TB, the fridge opens both ways. So if I'm in the bedroom area, I can get something out of the fridge or something out of the freezer. And what's great about this fridge, it's a three-way fridge. So it's not just electric, so it'll run on propane, it'll run on 120 power and it'll also run on 12 volt power off the batteries or off the alternator when you're driving down the road. Three-way fridge, dual opening, separate freezer, separate fridge, absolutely fantastic. Just before you go back into the bedroom area, we have our Dometic thermostat right here. You can turn that on. You can set everything just like a residential thermostat. I can turn on my air conditioner, which is 15,000 BTUs ducted throughout the entire roof. I can turn it to heat pump. So if I'm plugged into 120 shore power, I have the generator running, I can actually heat the motorhome from the air conditioner up on the roof. I can also turn on my 16,000 BTU furnace and keep the motorhome nice and warm. I can also turn on my fans on my air conditioner and just have circulation of air throughout the entire motorhome. So it's all done right here. It just runs like a residential thermostat. Set the temperature 
and forget it. One little tip is always leave the fans on auto. And on the island bed and the twin bed model, you have two separate living areas, front living area and a bedroom living area. And this door blocks off to create those two separate living areas. That is just smart usage and versatility in a small motorhome. So we're now in the back of the bedroom area on the twin bed model. Once again, that door closes, gives me two separate areas, a bedroom area and a front living area. And with the twin bed models, versatility of sleeping. So one person can sleep here, separate person can sleep here, which is great for me and my golf buddies that are going golfing. We can now sleep up to four people. This also makes into one big king size bed as well. But let's talk about some of the storage areas underneath the twin beds. Look at this. Nice big storage area down below. Over on this side, another storage area. And we also have our table area here where we keep our table and our uh, table base pole right there. But once again, great place for linens. So lots of storage area. At the front of the twin beds, look at this storage area. But you can see how much storage space we utilize underneath the twin beds. And on this side underneath here, we have easy access to our water pump and our fresh water tank as well. And this is a very cool little hiding spot here. I have some customers that have pets and they have little cats they take with them and they put the uh, cat litter box in there and they hide it and they can close it, but great little storage area. So storage, storage, and even more storage. And we're not quite done with storage yet. Look at this, two pull out drawers, full drawer extension glides, and once again, built in soft clothes for 2021. And when you order the island bed model with the full walk around island bed underneath the bed, a great amount of storage. So lots of lower storage and upper storage as well. Fantastic storage above both bed areas. Once again, we have our beautiful curved doors. I love the cabinet construction, absolutely fantastic. Over on this side, storage, storage, a little more storage. Over on the uh, passenger side, once again, the same three storage bins, nice and deep, absolutely fantastic. Plus two hanging closets, one on this side and one on this side. And when you order the island bed, the two hanging closets go on both sides of the bed. Yeah, now this is comfortable. Foam mattresses, absolutely fantastic. Two pitcher windows on both sides, awning style. Daytime shades, nighttime shades, absolutely fantastic. You have a beautiful TV area back here. Once again, with the switcher box, I can be watching a movie back here. TV up front, optional satellite dish. If I'm into satellite, I can watch satellite here, satellite up front, absolutely fantastic. Inverted plug as well. The reading lights on both sides and USB plugs on both sides, inverted plug, I mean, just feels really comfortable. Little nightstand right here, so I can have a cup of coffee in the morning, or I can just uh, have a glass of wine at night and kick back, watch some TV, work on my laptop. I mean, it just feels comfortable. So we go from two twin beds if we want, or we can go to one king bed. It's actually bigger than a king bed. Very simple to do. This comes across, locks in place. We have two more full mattress inserts that fill in. Look at this and they just lock in place and looky looky i've got a king size bed hello i can sleep this way look how much room i have i can't even touch look i'm putting my feet here i still have what foot and a half space back this way you can sleep any which way you want diagonal sleeping why not sleep over on this side super comfortable so it makes it into one gigantic big bed on the twin bed. The island bed, of course, you have the walk around island bed, which is absolutely fantastic as well. But this is the twin bed, versatility of sleeping. So I can have two separate sleeping areas, make this into one big sleeping area up front. I have a single bed, or I can make that with the optional air mattress sleeping for two. So that gives me a total of sleeping for four people in the twin bed, the island bed, and the RL models. Once again, this door comes across, creates two separate areas, one in the living room area, one in the bedroom area. Beautiful dressing mirror for getting ready. Well, don't forget, Leisure Travel Van clothing, cups, mugs. Check out our Leisure Travel Van store on our Leisure Travel Van website, www.leisurevans.com. Have some great leisure swag that you can get, but absolutely fantastic, nice, big. This is called a dry bathroom. So the difference between a dry bathroom and a wet bathroom, some motorhomes have a wet bathroom where you have to sit on the toilet to shower. I don't think you're going to like that because we have a nice big stand-up shower in this motorhome. Look at this. 
Okay, this is fun. Small motorhome, big bathroom, big shower. Look at this. I can go up on my tippy toes. I still can't touch the roof. That's probably 6'4 to the top. So if you're a tall person, you've got lots of room to shower. Little handle for getting in and out. Shower door goes across. Accessory channel here for your soaps and shampoos. We've got our uh, shower head. We have a little switch on here that you can control the water flow. And in this area right here, we've got a little place here for your towels. You can drip dry your bathing suits and towels. LED light here for a hanging light as well. So hot and cold running water. Once again, we got the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. So unlimited hot water, which is absolutely fantastic, but nice big stand up shower. So big stand up shower on one side and a private bathroom area on the other side. Look how much room we have. Solid Corian countertops is a brand new concrete color. Accessory channel for your toiletries right here. Chrome faucet, little stainless steel sink absolutely fantastic i feel it feels huge in this area it's got the optional fantastic fan with the rain sensor led lights i mean it just feels nice and big little storage area down below medicine cabinet up above place here to hang your towels now this is important this is a macerator toilet what a macerator toilet does is it turns up all the solids and shoots them into the gray tank so they're always in the liquid form that's nice and easy for dumping your tanks so china macerator marine grade toilet absolutely special and i also like the height of the toilet it's easy to get on and off the toilet as well which is important nice little place here for a water pump switch so if you forget to turn on your water pump in the middle of the night and you want to use the bathroom you can turn on your water pump we have a 110 electrical plug or 120 electrical plug right here and here's your control switch for your macerator toilet so nice big bathroom area so it's very functional and it's you know private now we can walk back into the other part of the motorhome. Hard to believe how much room we have. And really this is about a 19 foot box. And our total length is 25 feet, one inch with the chassis. But this is a lot of motorhome in a small motorhome. Now let's talk about the Mercedes-Benz 3500 series cutaway chassis. This has all been redesigned and I think you're gonna absolutely love it. It's got the three liter V6 turbo diesel engine. 325 foot-pounds of torque with 188 horsepower, seven-speed automatic transmission. Let's start off with the power seats, which I really like. If you happen to be a tall person, the Sprinter cab chassis is big. You can see I have a 34-inch inseam. I can't quite touch the uh, foot pedals. I have to actually bring the seat forward. So if you have long legs, you're going to absolutely love this chassis. Lots of cab air. As you can see, I can move in and out. Once again, we talked about the heated seats. It's got Recaro support. You have three different settings on the power seat. So you can have three different drivers. Hit the button. It'll set it up for those drivers. So thinking about some of the safety features that we order on all of our Unity motorhomes from Mercedes-Benz on the chassis, we've got the electric power stream, which is absolutely fantastic. When you're driving down the road, you can actually hold the steering wheel with one finger. I don't suggest you do that. Always have two hands on the wheel. We have Distronic Cruise Control. We have Front Collision Impact Assist. We have Lane Keeping Assist with Driver Alert. We have Active Brake Assist. We have High Beam Assist. We also ordered the 10.25 inch monitor with the Mercedes-Benz MBUX Multimedia System with touchscreen and intelligent navigation, all voice activated as well. Traffic sign assist, which will tell you what the speed limit area is. It'll read the sign that you passed and tell you what the speed limit is that you can be driving in. You can also adjust it from miles to kilometers on the control center. I love the control center here. You can see it's just like an iPad. You can just scroll through it. You also have Sirius radio. It's a pay for service. And of course you can Bluetooth your phone as well. It's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. We also have charging system up front here for charging your phones if your phone can do that we also have USB-C cable connections here we also have 12 volt connector plug down low here and a USB plug and this is how you charge your uh, key fob for the Mercedes-Benz chassis you always want to put it right in there and you can actually start the motor without the key being in there just simply holding the brake down and pressing it here we have our leather wrapped steering wheel, which is very nice. And once again, you have all the controls right here on the Mercedes-Benz main control center. So you can see uh, what your miles per gallon are, how many miles you're driving, fuel consumption. You can also check on the different temperatures of your transmission and your uh, motor as well. So everything is controlled right here. You never have to take your eyes off the road. So yes, yeah, seven speed automatic transmission controlled right here. You got the wet wiper arm, which is absolutely fantastic. This is your control center for all your safety features. There's a little pyramid on the outside. Keep that nice and 
facing queen so everything is active place here for your sunglasses map light reader right here lots of storage area lots of room convenience of course air conditioning power brakes power windows everything's controlled here everything's controlled off the steering wheel you press this button this controls everything on this side control here on your front system here once again this is all voice activated system hey mercedes what would you like to do find me a mcdonald's restaurant Select an entry. How perfect is that? Hit the entry and it'll automatically put into my navigation system and off to McDonald's I go for my COVID-19 diet. So absolutely fantastic. You're absolutely going to love this chassis. It's fun. We also have some great little other features that we have. We have My LTV, which you, when you buy a leisure travel van, you can join our My LTV club. Uh, we have resources, warranty information, great videos, helpful videos on how to run your air conditioner or how to run the IoT Dometic system. So some great resources there. We have a travelers club uh, you can join. We also have an ARP rewards program, which you can join up for. And we also have lots of great little contests throughout the year. So My LTV, once you get your leisure travel van, even if you have it on order, Order, make sure you join my LTV club you can watch all the owners manuals informations walkthrough videos also we have exclusive for the first two years we have a roadside assistance program so if you uh, run out of fuel they will come and re uh, fill up your uh, tank get you going uh, if you lock yourself out of the motorhome if you uh, have a breakdown flat tire they will come and repair that so we give that to you free for the first two years you can renew that after that so roadside assistance is also included for the first two years on all new leisure travel and motorhomes so absolutely fantastic it's one great chassis one great motorhome you're gonna absolutely love it that is one fun motorhome if you're looking for a small motorhome dry bathroom versatile sleeping area four passengers sleeping up to four with the optional air mattress lots of interior storage Wow, that is one fun, fun motorhome. And if you thought that was fun, wait till I show you the outside of the Unity Twin Bed and the Island Bed model. Lots of exterior storage. Okay, the Unity Twin Bed and the Island Bed for 2021 are, of course, powered by the Mercedes-Benz 3500 Series Cutaway Chassis. They redesigned this entire chassis a couple of years ago. It feels like you're driving one of their M-Class SUVs. You're gonna like this little feature. If you're in a little bit of a tight area, you can bring the mirrors in. They just slide in and out. They're heated power mirrors, and our exterior width is 7 feet 10 inches. We're just under 10.7 exterior height, and we're 25 feet 1 inch in total length, 170 inch wheelbase. As we work our way down, we have our running boards here for easy access in and out of the chassis. I love how we have our fiberglass contoured fiberglass molding that integrates into the chassis. Absolutely looks fantastic. And once again, our full fiberglass front mask as well. And you can see we got our courtesy lights for getting in and out of the motorhome. And our control center for our awning is right here. So this is a wind sensor automatic awning. We just press the button and out it comes automatically. The awning is going to come out about seven feet and it's of just over 12 feet in length. So if it's a super windy day, don't have your awning out. We don't want anything to happen to the awning. So nice big awning area, keeps the uh, sun off of us and uh, gives us lots of shade. As we work our way down the motorhome, 16,000 BTU furnace, brand new uh, handle on our compartment doors, full fiberglass compartment doors, built in struts so it doesn't fall and hit you on the back of the head, galvanized sheet metal compartments all lined, and for 2021, brand new locking key system so I can lock it. And this key is specifically designed for all Unity and Wonder models as well. So you can see it locks in place right there, but you're gonna love the door. See how it contours underneath the motorhome, opens all the way up. We have our uh, step, so right now we are in camping mode. I can turn the camping mode off. And when I close the door, the step automatically goes back up. I also love the uh, screen door mechanism right here, locks in place. We've got some, uh, some bracing that goes across the screen door, aluminum bracing. So if you have pets, you don't have to worry about them coming through the screen door. And you can see how it just locks back in place here. RV house batteries are stored underneath here out of the way, which is really, really nice. And then nice little option to have is the keyless entry. So you can runs right off the Mercedes-Benz key fob. As you can see, I lock it up and I can unlock it all off the key fob. We've got our uh, refrigerator vents and another storage area right here. 
and this is where we store our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter which is standard for 2021 with AGM batteries six volt deep cycle AGM batteries talked about earlier another little storage area in here as well closes up real nice we have our 120 electric outlet plug here and standard for 2021 is the surge protector built into the motorhome so if you have bad power it won't allow any power to go into the motorhome protect all those important electronics inside the motorhome so for 2021 surge protector standard i love the full fiberglass fender skirt and optional alcoa aluminum rims absolutely fantastic we go with six alcoa aluminum rims so we have dual wheels at the back the outside are done in durabrite with the alcoa aluminum rim option you can easily check your inner and outer tire pressure another great option to have is the uh, optional exterior table and you can it's all done in aluminum powder coated and you can see it just locks into place right here and if you do a lot of dry camping like we are today I don't obviously have a picnic area or a table I can bring my own table stores in the back storage area and great putting my barbecue on there eating camping enjoying the outdoors and doing a little fishing as well okay a couple little things let's talk about this fantastic vacuum bonded steel frame floor one piece floor vacuum pressed right wall construction boxed aluminum frame welded fiberglass exterior skin right three coats of color two coats of clear seven different exterior colors we have a color for you we've got silver we've got graphite denim white suede Eurosport, champagne and glacier seven different exterior colors there has to be a color that you're absolutely going to love i mean look how beautiful that is the beautiful curved wall frameless glass windows i mean it is stunning looking stunning i'm telling you as we work our way down here's where our generator goes we have two options on generators 3.2 kilowatt diesel generator or the optional 3.6 propane generator when you option the propane generator you get auto gen start which we talk about inside the motor room so nice little standard feature when you order the optional 3.6 kilowatt propane generator so the great thing about having a generator is you can go anywhere you want you are self-contained you can be in the middle of nowhere and you can run your motorhome you have full power to run the air conditioner 15,000 BTU air conditioner your microwave all your electronics so everything runs off the generator I would not want to have a motorhome without a generator because batteries eventually run down dead and then you have no power and with a generator you can recharge those batteries especially lithium batteries because when lithium batteries go down dead they're hard to recharge they take a long time so important to have a generator either go with the 3.2 diesel generator or the optional 3.6 propane generator once again built-in strut another storage area at the back we also have our barbecue quick connect so if you have a little barbecue you can run it off the main 15 gallon propane tank that is right there and we have our table right there so you can barbecue right off the optional table so storage is really important and look at this this is some serious storage how is this for storage pass through all the way through about 12 inches all the way through the motorhome you can see there's our optional exterior table where it mounts nicely right there you got your 30 amp shore power cable on the other side but look how much storage that you have the twin bed and the island bed even more storage are 24 inches all the way through on an island bed yes twin bed and island bed unbelievable exterior storage so fantastic if you're into uh, camping hiking fishing boating golf whatever you want you can take everything with you in the island bed and the twin bed lots of exterior storage i love all the little detail leisure travel vans does on the unity motorhome full fiberglass rear mass molded fiberglass fully insulated integrated backup camera led uh, marking lights and tail lights as well absolutely fantastic looks incredible two-piece fiberglass rear bumper if somebody were to smash this part you could just replace this part that'll make the insurance company you're happy let's talk about the hitch so 5,000 pound receiver hitch seven pin connector for towing so the mercedes-benz chassis can tow up to 15,250 pounds minus your wet weight so if you were to load up a leisure travel van unity island bed twin bed to the maximum gvwr of 11,030 pounds you could tow 4,220 pounds comfortably so that's how that works so leisure travel van unity twin bed island bed great towing great exterior storage great interior storage it's a fun motorhome 
Hey, we're on the driver's side now. We've got to look at this storage again because I love storage in a small motor because you need it. Here's our little uh, cushion that goes uh, up in the front area for an ottoman and for a secondary bed. But look at nice how big storage area is. I can put two sets of golf clubs in there. I've done it many times. Or I can run the golf clubs down that way as well. Outside service center right here. Every, I like this. Everything is in one spot. You don't have to do something over there and something over here. Everything is right here. So dumping our tanks. We got our three inch dump here. We have an optional macerator pump. It's already all connected. Nice little option to have. Dumps out of a one inch line. Takes a little longer to dump but uh, the gravity is out of a three inch line. A little quicker to dump. Remember we got our black poles here for our black tank and our gray tank. So always dump your black tank first then your gray. Propane fill right here 15 gallon propane tank that's filled by a propane service center you've got an on off switch here for turning the propane on and off which is important and easy to do just turn that off right there black water flush over here we have our satellite plug-in if you have a portable satellite dish you can take that with you plug it in there you can watch satellite tv inside the motorhome once again we have the optional one that goes on roof which is the wine guard t4 cable connection you're at a campground they got cable plug it in there you've got cable tv inside the motorhome so Right here, we got our water pump. This is a nice little feature. I forgot to turn my water pump on when I was coming out. I can turn on the water pump here and I can use the exterior shower. So hot and cold running water. Brand new exterior shower for 2021. Little quick connect in there. So it's the great latest and greatest in exterior shower. Fresh water fills done right here. Pop this up, run your fresh water into there. And that way you can close your service center right there to the outside. Right here, we've got a quick connect hose for picking up RV antifreeze for those of us that have to winterize our motorhomes in the winter time. I can suck RV antifreeze up, run it through the lines, don't have to worry about any uh, lines freezing up or dry camping like we are right now. I forgot to put water in. I got a big jerry can of water. I can put that hose into the jerry can and I can suck the water up into my fresh water tank. So very versatile pickup hose right there when you're RV. Over here we've got our city water uh, fill for filling up our fresh water tank or our shore water and our winterizing bypass valve right there when I'm winterizing the motorhome. So everything is fantastic and it's all in one spot. It's easy and it's convenient to use. 30 amp shore power connection. Once again, surge protector standard for 2021. Now, Unity IB, TB all have these storage areas as well. So lots of storage area here and here and the sewer hose right here for our dumping our tank. Now, if you order the optional macerator pump, we always still include the three inch dump hose in case there was ever a problem. You can still dump your tanks because we want you to be happy. Once again, these two compartments are on the IB and on the TB models. Let's talk about the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater, the best hot water heating system on the market today. And I'm gonna tell you why. It's all because it has this little tank right here, one liter tank that when you have it on Comfort Plus, it keeps that water nice and hot so that when you turn on one of your valves in the kitchen, the shower or the bathroom sink, you have instant hot water. As it uses that one liter of hot water, the heat exchangers continuously are getting hotter and hotter and it gives you continuous unlimited hot water. Very important in an IB or a TB because you have a stand-up shower and a bathroom. You can have nice long showers and you don't have to sit on the toilet to have a shower. So dry bathroom on the IB and on the TB. I like this, our diesel fill right here so I can fill up the diesel, close the door, fill up the diesel, no diesel fumes going in the motorhome. When I do the reverse and close it, now my diesel's locked, nobody can tamper with your diesel. And you can use up to 20% biodiesel on the new uh, Mercedes-Benz chassis. They don't like a full diet of biodiesel, but you can use some biodiesel on the Mercedes-Benz chassis. And now we're back to the front. Let's just take a moment and look at how beautiful this motorhome is. Wow. If you're looking for a small motorhome, versatility of sleeping, now up to four people with seat belts with the optional air mattress that you can take in your TB or your IB and the RL as well. I mean, absolutely fantastic. So dry bathroom, versatile sleeping areas, nice galley area, two TVs, you know, just a beautiful small motorhome incredible interior and exterior storage for those of you that have lots of outside activities i mean look how beautiful this is. we're gonna do a little fishing in a minute but this is where you should be RVing in a leisure travel van make sure that you check out your local leisure travel van dealer take one of these out for a test drive go and see one in person you're going to be so blown away you're going to just absolutely love it i mean it's the best way to self-isolate 
out in the uh, great wilderness that we have in Canada and the United States. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do appreciate everybody watching our videos and I can't wait to do the next video. Once again, the 2021 Unity TV and IB. Go see one in person, you're gonna absolutely love it. Dean from Leisure Travel Van, see you next time. You can configure your Leisure Travel Van today. We have build-in price. You can compare floor plans. You can pick colors of exterior, interior wood colors, leather colors. Plus you can pick all of the options and you can price it out and know exactly what you're getting in your Leisure Travel Van.